cut interest rates, let the dollar fall another 10, 15 percent, what may worry? Well, first of all, Larry, um, I'm stunned that you, my most ardent free marketer friend, uh, would want to intervene in the free markets. Uh, uh, secondly, once in a while, you got. You know what? Sometimes when you see a one-sided market, I'm going to ask Charlie Gasparino about one-sided markets. He knows a thing or two about that. This is a one-sided market, shorting and selling dollars. Larry, so Larry, why shouldn't the Treasury come in and say, "Oh, hey, fellas, we believe markets should have two sides." Larry, the dollar was actually quite firm this week, uh, and it had nothing to do with this sell-off. And it is acting as one of the automatic stabilizers right now to keep this slowdown from turning into a recession. And once this economy starts to uh, reaccelerate uh, two or three quarters out, as it inevitably will, the dollar will firm right back up. And in the long run, Larry, ask yourself the question, which economy is going to have a stronger currency? The socialist economies of Europe or the well, capitalist the thing economy is, of the uh, US? No, 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 but I like that. I love your rhetoric. But you know what? The interesting thing is the socialists aren't so socialistic anymore. Oh, They're beginning sure they to be are. capitalistic. They're even looking at supply side. Uh, Charlie Gasparino, what do you make of this? There is a one-sided market for dollars. What is wrong with Mr. Uh, Paulson to come in and make a couple of trades to buy the dollar?